Hey, how you doing today? My name is Ryan. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, I'm going to show you how to defeat the Collector on Radiant in the Hall of God. So first things first, let's go with the charms. We got Shaman Stone, Unbreakable Strength. We're going to be doing a lot of damage with our Nail, Long Nail, and Mark of Pride. We, we need that extra reach because of some of those little ads, those extra little enemies. We need to be able to reach them. And with Unbreakable Strength, we need to be able to get them in one hit. Uh, we've got the Sprint Master, because we need to not take jars to the face. And Nail Master's Glory, because we are going to spin to win on this one. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Basically, what you want to be doing is you want to be doing your Cyclone Slash as much as you possibly can. And so... That's not how you do it. So you want to do it as late as possible on the jars, but you want to do it um, on the collector as well, if that makes any sense. What I'm trying to say is save your Cyclone Slash for the collector unless it's a Primal Aspid, then you want to use it immediately because you, the Primal Aspids will deal damage very, very quickly after they hit the ground. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to build up our soul as much as possible so in that way if things get a little little hairy and we can't control what's going on we want to be able to clear out the entire map like that with a spell with a vengeful spirit get lots and lots of hits in remember whenever whenever he gets staggered he's gonna drop three jars immediately afterwards Got them both. And just like that, the collector is down. With those spin attacks, it goes down pretty quick, but you just have to be able to, to deal with those primal aspids. That's by far the hardest part of this whole thing because as soon as a primal aspid lands, it will attack almost guaranteed. I hope that you found this video helpful. My name's Relia, and I'll talk to you again more real soon. Thanks. Bye.